Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing two lightsaber companies and making a full in-depth comparison video. And they are Saber Trio and Saber Forge. Now, I actually made a video of Ultra Sabers and Saber Forge. And when I got my Saber Trio lightsaber, a lot of people asked me, please do the same comparison. Or this time, obviously, Saber Forge and Saber Trio. And that is what today's video is. It's going to be about, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before we get into the actual comparison part of the video, I do want to say a few quick things. First of all, if you want to see my review for Saber Forge or Saber Trio or the other comparison video or any lightsaber video, it will be pinned in the comment section. That will be my lightsaber playlist. Click the link and you can see all my videos. And also, just like in my first video, I want to say a few quick disclaimers. Right, so standard disclaimer number one. <laughs> this video is sponsored by nobody. This is my own personal nerd opinion. If you agree or disagree, that is totally fine, man. Heck, maybe your experience was totally different from mine. If it was, please let me know in that comment section below. Also, the fact that this is only my opinion, this is not me trying to tell you pick this company or pick this company, and it's definitely not me telling you how to spend your money because nobody should listen to that. The amount of stuff I have in my room... Yeah, I'm definitely not the person to be given financial advice. Standard disclaimer number two, I actually personally love both companies and it is a fact. I've said it on my individual reviews of the lightsabers when I bought them. I will be buying another Saber Forge and I will be buying another Saber Trio. Just throwing that out there. I've got nothing but big love for both companies. They both do things in different ways. They both have positives and a little bit of negatives in different things. And that is what today's video is all about. And the third and final thing, ladies and gentlemen, this is being filmed at the end of 2020. So in 2021, 2022, 2023, if we make it that far, yo, things may change, technology may change. So just throwing that out there. And also, this is not really a disclaimer, but I felt I might as well say it now, even though we will definitely get to it at the end of the video. Both of these lightsabers, they are both NeoPixel lightsabers. There's no in-hill LEDs. They are the max specs for each company. Right, so now we've got all that boring stuff out of the way. I'm going to be doing this pretty much exactly like I did in the first video, starting with customer service. Now, for me, I've already said this originally about both companies. They were both very, very good. Starting with Saberforge, basically, you email them. You get an automated email. I think, don't like keep it <laughs> as, as a fact, but I think I'm... I'm pretty sure it's like this. You get an automated email and it says, we have got your email, thank you very much, blah, blah, blah. And we will reply between two to three business days. And in my experience, they definitely held up to that. And the customer service representative that I spoke to, he was very good. I'm not going to mention his name. There was a little bit of a mishap thing when I ordered the Bane Mock 2. It did get rectified, which I said in my video, but there is... There was that little hiccup, should we say. With Saber Trio, I actually have never emailed them, but I have spoke to their customer service team via Instagram. And yeah, I said in my review, the guy or girl running the Instagram who's replied to people via DMs, they are totally awesome. We had some proper, proper banter. We went well off topic, mate. Chatting about a bunch of different things, laughing and joking. That is what I want with customer service with these big companies. I want... I want to feel like I'm talking to a person, not a robot. That hiccup with Saber Forge happened right when the pandemic was like really bad in America, when it first like hit them really, really hard. And I am taking that into consideration as well. So if I'm being totally fair, I, I hate to do it, but th this ain't no verse match. This ain't a battle to the death, yo. So this is my rules, yo. And I'm just going to keep it real. The customer service, for me, they are literally neck and neck, but they are both very, very good, unlike other lightsaber companies which are absolutely dreadful mate right now the next subject i will cover is availability now this was pretty hard to talk about in the last video it's gonna be hard to talk about in here as well but i have to be fair i'm filming this november 2020 i have to look at it exactly how it is now currently saber trio the shop is closed bro you cannot buy nothing that's not like some bad thing i'm just like keeping it real right now they basically said they don't want to like overwork themselves. They want to make sure every lightsaber is to the dot perfect. So they like open the shop, sell a bunch of sabers, then close it. But they keep everyone up to date. Now, I don't have Facebook because it just winds me up. But I do have Instagram as my main social media. And I know they post things very regularly saying like, this is the updates. This is what's happening, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just throwing that out there. However, I have to give this 
category, if you will, the point to Sabre Forge, because currently you can go on their website and they have a bunch of lightsabers in stock and you can buy them right now as we speak. So I think availability wise, I think Sabre Forge is, is going to get the point. It seems like they have, I don't know if it's more stock, more manpower. I don't know what it is, but by the time it's recording, you can buy a Sabre Forge lightsaber. You cannot buy a Sabre Trio, so I guess by default, Sabre Forge wins. Now we're going to talk about Hilt Designs. Again, this is kind of like, well, you like what you like, which is genuinely true about lightsabers. Like, you, either, you either want a Sabre Forge or you want a Sabre Trio, and uh, that is pretty much it. If you like whatever company's version of a Hilt, that normally sways you. I am looking at the entire picture and Hilt Designs, I have to give it to Sabre Forge. Probably, to be fair, they've been in the game much longer and currently, at the time of this recording anyway, you can buy normal hilts, curved, cross guards. I think they've got axes. They've got some crazy stuff, mate. Staff, spears there. They've got a lot of stuff on their website. Sabre Trio, they currently only really have single-bladed lightsabers. You could, like, buy two. I think it's called the, um, I think it's called the Senza. You could buy two, put it together, and it'll be, like, the staff from the, uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order game, which is a bang of a game, yo. But to be fair, Sabre Forge has that as well. So even if you make them like equal on that level, Sabre Forge still has so many more designs. Curved hilts, cross guards, they have a lot of stuff. If you like something crazy like this, this is the Bane Mark II in Chrome. It's a curved hilt. Like Sabre Trio have nothing like this. If this is your type of thing, like just, just crazy, man. Sabre Forge is probably the company you'll probably go to look at. They definitely have some more crazy designs. Right, so you got your hilt. Now let's talk about customization. Now, both companies, they're pretty much going to be equal on this again. I got my Bane in complete chrome, and this comes in like a bunch of different styles, man. You can get obviously chrome, black, weathered, chrome and black, black and chrome, which is like different sections of the hilt. It's different colours. And to be fair to Sabre Forge, most of their lightsabers, you can add like wraps, or different like weathering stuff. You can pretty much customize every single hilt. There are a few exceptions. Hilts like the Count Dooku lightsaber, they only come as one piece because they're pretty much replicas from the movie. But anything else that's made originally by Sabre Forge, you can pretty much customize it to whatever you want. And Sabre Trio is pretty much the same. I got this with a mirrored finish, a gold activation switch. I know you could do like acid etching and stuff. So I mean, to be totally fair, customization is probably a draw. It's, it's really nice to see like a lightsaber company or companies, shall we say, that you can customize everything because there's a lot of lightsaber companies that you can't do nothing to. Right, so the next one is probably one of, if not the most important, and it is the price. I have the Bane Mark II from Sabre Forge, the Vulcan from Sabre Trio, and, and I'll start with the Sabre Forge lightsaber. Now, this cost me 562 US dollars and the Sabre Trio cost me 533 US dollars so I guess like if you're looking at it black and white Sabre Trio is technically cheaper even though it's 30 dollars cheaper it's still cheaper the facts are the facts and I live in the UK Sabre Trio is in Malaysia Sabre Forge is in America I don't live anywhere near either of them and still Sabre Trio is definitely cheaper even if it's a little bit it's still cheaper. Right, so you paid for your lightsaber. The next thing you need to worry about is delivery speed. Now, Sabre Forge, I'm going to start with them. They took literally on the dot nine weeks, which in 2020 for a custom lightsaber, and it is Neopixel as well, that is pretty good to be totally fair. There are, well, I'm just going to let you guys know. At the time this recording, I've said it multiple times, I am waiting for two Vader's Vault lightsabers and it's looking like they're going to be peaking, y'all. 22 weeks, which is... Yes, yeah, no joke. So nine weeks for Sabre Forge is very, very good. I've got to be fair, though. Sabre Trio, they blasted it out, man. My Sabre Trio Vulcan arrived in seven weeks and like a few days. So I know it's very, very close, seven and nine, but it still came earlier. So delivery speed, I have to give the point to Sabre Trio, even though Sabre Forge 9 weeks is very, very good. You got your lightsaber. I know like, a lot of people made fun of this last bit of my last video. What feels like a lightsaber? What feels premium? And to be fair, they're pretty much identical, mate. If I start with the vein, there's nothing. There is no movement inside. It feels like one solid piece. It feels like if I slap someone, they are finito. I know I've done this so many times, but the only thing I can hear clicking 
is the wrist, which is really bad. A lot of people mentioned that in the last video. I've actually done this right up close to the mic, and they're like, yo, your wrist is about to snap, yo. But yeah, the same is for Sabertrue. It feels like one solid piece. Again, it feels like if I club someone, they are finished. So yeah, in terms of feels or build quality, whatever you want to call it, for me personally, they are exactly the same. They both feel like if you compare them to Ultra Sabers, I'm not bashing Ultra Sabers, y'all. I'm just keeping it real. But if you compare them to an Ultra Saber lightsaber, it's a different league by miles, mate. Right, so the next light like, subject, I didn't have it in my first video. A few people did ask me, so I thought I'd just slide it in here. What's inside the box? Now, both companies, pretty much identical. Saber Forge and the Saber Trio, I both got chargers. I got more chargers with the Saber Trio, if you want to give that a point, but it's the same goddamn thing. And they both gave Allen keys or Allen wrenches, however you want to call it. Unlike some companies where you pay for it, they both sent it free. My next category, subject, whatever you want to call it, is charging. How do you charge a saber? What's easier? And there is actually a winner. It's very slight, but it is, it's kind of a big deal, actually. It might not even be that slight. I kind of love it. Right, so starting with the saber four, just pretty much easy peasy. Under the activation switch, you've got a recharge port. You plug it in, you charge it, job done. With the Saber Trio, it's pretty much the same thing, except you undo the pommel at the bottom, you slide it out like just a tiny bit, and then again, you have a recharge port there as well. You're probably thinking it's a draw, but it really, really ain't. Saber Trio is definitely better in the charging category, and for one big key reason, this has got CFX, aka Crystal Focus 10, and it has an OGS button on the back, which if you click the OGS button when it's powered off, you get this. That is your battery percentage. I hope it's covered up on camera, y'all. That's how much battery I have. Obviously, 100% dead. That's how much battery power I have. You cannot do that, or I can't do it on the Bane because there's only one button. Again, we'll get to that literally in a minute. So the charging category, I have to just give the edge to Saber Trio. The whole like battery level thing is, it's a neat touch and I kindly really appreciate it. Like if I have no idea, if it's fully charged, I can literally just check like instantly. Now we're gonna be talking about the real important stuff, sound and light. I'm gonna start with sound. They both have smooth swing, by the way. They both can do this. comparison video with Ultra Saber and Saber Forge. Saber Forge blasted that, mate. Smooth swing. If you haven't experienced it, you need to. It literally, it feels like a lightsaber. Both of them, they are identical. However, there is one part of the sound that they are not equal to, and it is the loudness. Now, my speaker, I know obviously you can't see it, it is right in the middle. So I'm going to do this as fair as possible. In fact, I'm actually going to put both the lightsabers to their own Kylo Ren lightsaber sound font so you can hear the difference. Now, I'm just going to say it now. The Saber Trio speaker is by far superior. I'll do it individually and then I'll do it side by side.
Right, so they are pretty much equal distance. I must look stupid as hell right now. Let's stop moving. I'm going to start with Sabre Forge. And now we're going to go to Sabre Trio. I don't know how well that's picking it up. I hope all that light like, shows genuinely the Sabre Trio speaker is a banger, y'all. I've given each lightsaber to different people and I've always given them the Sabre Forge first so they can get used to that sound and when they turn on the Sabre Trio, they're normally like, yo. Again, I don't know if it's picked it up until I edit this video, but the Sabre Trio loudness is it's much better. To be fair, the speaker in the Sabre Trio lightsaber in general is, is better. Not bashing Sabre Forge's speaker, that speaker is massively better than Ultra Sabres, but the Sabre Trio speaker is definitely, definitely better. Now I'm going to talk about the brightness, the effects, the old stuff, all the NeoPixel stuff, and they all have, obviously, NeoPixel, so they can all do this. However, I will give one extra point to Sabre Trio because they have things like the tip drag, which, unless I'm being completely oblivious, I've tried it multiple times, y'all. It doesn't work with Sabre Forge. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't have it. But you can do the tip drag with Sabre Trio, which is this. Now, since we're talking about brightness and stuff, I might as well compare the brightness. This is going to be really hard on camera. I don't know if it's even going to show up, but to be totally fair, they are like both the same, man. Right, so before I put the NeoPixel blades in, I will be putting both sabers to the same colour just to make it totally fair. Right, so I put both sabers to blue. I don't think there's going to be any like difference, but here we go. Saber Forge and Trio. Now, in person, if I'm being totally fair, there are kind of different like levels of blue. The Saber Trio looks a little bit lighter. But it's hard to like describe brightness wise. They look uh, literally identical, man. Maybe that's a bad test. I'm gonna put them both in red. Right, that is better. Now, that in person looks to the dot the same, bro. In fact, I'm gonna turn the lights off so you can see. Starting with Saber Forge again. Again, not sure how it's looking on camera. In person, I if I had to bet money on it. It would just, I'd pretty much flip a coin. It looks identical, yo. And that is probably because both of them are NeoPixel. Now we've covered brightness. I do want to touch on one thing that the Sabre Trio has that the Bane does not have. And it is an Ogs button. I'm not sure if other Sabre Forge Sabres have it. I'm just going off what I have, yo. This has an Ogs button, which basically this is the power button. And on the back, there's a tiny button here. And it makes life so much easier, man. If I want to do a clash, I can just hold it. If I want to do anything like that, I can just hold the button. Obviously, blast is the same thing. Push it once. All that stuff is very easy now. Blast the stuff. Can't hear nothing. Blast the stuff on the Sabre Forge is there. You just tap the power button once and you get the blast deflections. But you can't do things like flash and clash because there's only one button. If you hold it down, it'll just turn itself off. The main thing is navigating the menu now. The Sabre Trio is running CFX Crystal Focus 10, which I love it, man. I'm not going to lie. Crystal Focus is so sick. It's so user friendly. Like I think a kid could pick this up and just go through it and it'll be so easy. Sabre Forge has got the golden harvest and I'm gonna show you what I mean, one sec. The Sabre Forge has got one button, which means navigating the menu is really hard. If I wanna navigate the menu, let me just put this down. If I wanna navigate the menu on the Sabre Trio, this is what you do. You hold the OGS button down. Sound bank selection, darkness. And now we're in darkness and you click for it. Vengeance. Vengeance. Hello Ren. Hello, Ren. And you press the power button to go the other way. Vengeance. Darkness. And then back to darkness. To confirm it, you hold it. And that's it. You're good to go. Now, 
Saber Forge is a little bit harder than that. You've only got one button, so to navigate one way and the other way, you actually have to tip the lightsaber downwards, makes it go back. <laughs> and holding it up, there's not much room, by the way, that must have looked well awkward. But yeah, holding it up makes it go forwards. Now, this is what it's like. You're holding it. So we are currently in the shadow. You let go, you hold it again. And now we're in another version of shadows. And then again, you press it once. And there you go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. You think that. But there's a lot of sound fonts on here. If you want one and then you want to go to a different one, it can actually take some time. Now, I have a test. What I'm going to do to make it totally fair, it's in standby mode. I'm going to press that at the same time so it's like completely fair. I'm going to be skipping three sound fonts, configuring the saber, and then powering it on. And then I'll stop the timer and we'll see how long it takes. Right. Right, so I'm holding them both of my hands. I'm going to make it as fair as possible. We're going to skip to the third one, and on the third one we'll power it up. Let's, uh, let's go. That took 11 seconds, pretty much on the dot. Obviously 11 seconds ain't bad, but genuinely, if you want to go to like the 10th one, 11th one, or on and on and on, because there's a lot of sound fonts on there, mate. If you, by the way, you want to see all the sound fonts again, it will be in the playlist pinned in the comment section right at the top. Right, same test with same cheer. Let's go. Sound bank selection. This party's over. Six. I told you about that purple. So sick, man. I can't wait to get my Revan Saber from Vader's Vault, yo. I know, like, you might be like, oh, you know, just wait a bit of time. Stop being lazy, bro. But you straight up, if you're trying to show someone something or change the settings... Having that OGS button is like, yeah, it's a big deal, man. That is a massive point for Saber Trio. Right now, to summarise, ladies and gentlemen, I hope, first of all, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's probably going to be hella, hella long. So if you stay to the end, big love to you. Overall, I love both Saber companies, man. I really love Saber Trio. I really love Saber Forge. They both have ups and downs. It, again, like old Sabers, well, not really. I pretty much said in that video, just get a Saber Forge, yo. But... In this video, they are like properly close. Just, I think in general, the Sabre Trio is, it's definitely louder to be fair. Brightness, they're identical. User friendly, nus, whatever. The Sabre Trio is definitely miles ahead, mate. That, that Crystal Focus 10 is so easy. Like genuinely, you could give it to a child and they'll be able to like master it in about, I'd say five minutes. They'll know exactly what to do, how to get to the SD card how to do the volume, how to do all that stuff. With the Saber Forge, it's hard, man. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even embarrassed to admit, like, you have to hold it up and down, and then for volume, you have to twist it and jab it at the same time when it's off. It brings the volume up, and again, you have to, like, go up and down with it. It's not bad. It smashes a lot of lightsaber sound fonts on the market, especially stuff like old sabers. I don't want to keep talking about them, yo. I just want to make it, like, crystal clear to you guys. The Golden Harvest in the Saber Forge is very very good it's just compared to crystal focus 10 it does feel like a big gap like especially sound quality user easiness whatever that is called man someone knows what i mean yo it's, it's been a long day both of them they are pretty much neck and neck i think if i'm have to be fair and again no disrespect to any company yo i think saber trio is a little bit better just in terms of a few big key things that sound font man the crystal focus 10 is such a big thing genuinely i know it's i know it's what 29 or 28 dollars cheaper forget the price let's just say they're the same let's say delivery time is the same it's pretty much the same those things they're like up and down for both of them but as a package y'all that crystal focus 10 is a big deal man it really really is not knocking golden harvest genuinely Love the sound font. I love what Saber Forge have done. There's a lot of unique sound fonts on there. It's just the Chris Focus 10, man. I hate to keep saying it. It's like if you haven't owned one, you don't know. It does go down to what you want. If you want a premium lightsaber, both companies are good for you. Also, it does depend what kind of hilt you want. If you want a curved hilt, cross guard, axe, spear, double bladed, whatever it is. Saber Forge probably got it covered. They've even got like crazy stuff like the Dark Ray, Sith Ray, whatever you want to call her, which is a monstrous Saber. And Saber Trio has nothing like that at all. But Saber Trio does offer unique Sabers that 
aren't really around. Again, like that, my... I'm losing my words, man. My Vulcan, I bought that because it doesn't look like anything else. Even though Saber Forge has a bunch of sabers that kind of look like, you know, like my Bane's a little bit like Dooku's. The Double Blade is obviously a lot like Maul. I went with the Vulcan because it looks totally unique. But if you like crazier stuff, Sabre Forge might be the place to go. Just in terms of hilt designs. I know I'm like properly rambling right now. I just don't want to leave this video and say like, go here or go there. I'm keeping it real, yo. I'm buying from both companies. I like both companies a lot. It's just, for the nature of this video, overall, I have to say... Saber Trio is a little bit better than Saber Forge. If they didn't have Crystal Focus 10, it would be probably identical. Straight up. The prices are the same. The delivery time is the same. All that stuff is identical. The customer service is a little bit better with Saber Trio. I'd give them that, definitely. Both be customised, but obviously both have near pixel. I keep looking here, by the way, because they're there. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is my honest opinion and full comparison of pretty much every category that I can think of anyway. If I missed anything, again... Please let me know and I will dress it in another video. But that is my honest opinion. Please, genuinely, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please do smash that like button, y'all. And obviously, I have two Vader's Vault lightsabers currently due. The Revan and I'm just going to say what it is. The Kylo Ren Hilt. Which I genuinely cannot wait for. And I know already, I've already had people say when they arrive, please do Saber Trio. And Vader's Vault comparison video. I hear you guys. I heard ya. It'll happen. Do not worry. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to this point, yo, big love. You are amazing. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one. May the Force be with you.